cows in space. Well, their cells at least. The Soyuz MS-15, en route to the International Space Station, on board bovine cells, cultivated from a breed found in the Rehovot region in Israel. What was really exciting and moving for me was uh, the launch of the rocket. Uh, when we saw our cells kind of, you know, taking off uh, and uh, entering the, the outer uh, atmosphere and, and getting into space, which was kind of very exciting and intriguing for me. Didier Tubia is the co-founder of Aleph Farms, an Israeli startup that cultures stem cells in labs to make humanely produced steak. A year ago, he was contacted by a Russian company that manufactures 3D bioprinters to take it one step further, synthesize the meat aboard the International Space Station. The experiment has been performed by our partners, 3D Bioprinting, which have the that bioprinter, that uh, unique uh, uh, magnetic bioprinter on the International uh, Space Station. And we've been in touch with them on a current basis and uh, we're excited to wait uh, um, until the, the results. And we've been uh, very happy with the successful completion of that uh, first experiment. During the 12-hour experiment, astronauts managed to 3D print a tissue consisting of several types of cells that reproduce the texture of real meat. All this under controlled microgravity conditions 250 miles above any natural resources on Earth. An important breakthrough for NASA. As you know, the US today is willing to um, colonize the moon uh, within a few years and uh, would like to send people to Mars, which is a two years uh, uh, long travel, long flight. And so in order to enable that, um, we need ways to produce uh, food in space uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, feeding the astronauts. But first, Ala Farms aims to conquer the market back on Earth. The startup sees itself as an eco-friendly alternative to industrial farming. We prove that we can produce meat anytime, anywhere, and potentially reducing the waste of uh, today 30% of the, the food produced globally, because it's not produced when and where it is needed, so it, it gets spoiled during transportation. The goal is to create meat that perfectly reproduces the flavor, texture, and natural taste of beef without any additives or dyes, and at the same price of standard meat. Ala Farms hopes to release its steak commercially in 2023, preceded by a test phase in restaurants as early as 2021. And hopefully, you won't have to journey to space to taste it.